Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today and welcome to this collaborative webinar between PMC and visual planning. I'm Brian, I represent PMC in the marketing department and I will be the moderator of today's presentation. So if you have any issues for, with audio problems or um, something else, please be sure to use the Q&A feature at the bottom of your screen. Um, and I will work with you independently from the presentation to try and help you. Um, but without further ado, I'd like to turn things over to first to our um, someone else that represents PMC, and that is Bob Toy. Um, Bob, take it away. Thank you, Brian. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to the Master Manufacturing Productivity webinar. First, I'd like to tell you a little bit about PMC before we get real strong into the webinar. PMC is an operations and improvement consulting company. Uh, we've been around in the USA since 1979. We've done well over 7,000 projects. We have well over 700 clients, and we have 150 diverse employees around the world. We're an Autodesk Solutions provider. And at the bottom of the screen here, you can just see some of our customers. As you can see, we're well diversified in automotive, the food industry, health industry, and many other industries that you may not see here. Next screen. So before I introduce you to visual planning, I'd like to just talk a little bit about, about the features that we're going to talk about today. But for that, I'm going to turn you over to Sean from Visual Planning and Stylog. Sean, take it away. Nice to meet everybody. Uh, this is Sean Burgos, the business development manager, the business development manager here at Visual Planning. Um, thank you for joining this webinar. So as mentioned, we're going to go over the top five key features in visual planning for scheduling and resource management of your manufacturing process. Um, these key features, let's go down the list just to start over here. So one, we have easily assigning resources to a relevant task either manually or automatically with synchronization occurring in real time. Two, making sure you have the necessary materials delivered on time so jobs are not delayed. Three, identifying bottlenecks with your resources and reallocating those resources easily. Four, forecasting orders to predict future workload. And five, integration into ERPs for visibility. With integration, there will be no need for double entry as all the data can be di bidirectional and that will increase efficiency. As mentioned, integrating in TRPs can increase your efficiency, bringing in the data and giving it the visuals many ERPs lack. For instance, we could push in your process sequence with all the customer and work order information and schedule this based off the due date and or priority of the work order. There are many ways we could visualize your data and it is all configured based on your specific needs. Now it's time to take a look at some, real ex some examples in real time. When you log into visual planning, you will be introduced to your customized dashboard. This dashboard is user group specific, meaning it will display the information that is important to you. On the dashboard, we can display resource assignments, material shortages, employee absences, process bottlenecks, process delays, and so much more. Whether you are a project manager seeing details on your work order and process, a shop floor employee viewing your individual schedule, or president of the company having insight on delays and reports showing your revenue, this is a detailed glance showing the important information that is relevant to you. Moving on to your custom schedule, you are now able to view all the work orders in process and see the resources assigned to each of these events. Visual planning can display lead time, delays, pretty much any data that is important to the user. This can be added to the columns on the left, inserted directly into an event, even display a specific icon or color. This way you will have immediate insight into all your work orders. You can easily move events around the schedule and visual planning will tell you if this will cause a bottleneck with any of your resources. In this case, shifting our first work order has caused a bottleneck within our machines. With visual planning, we could even automate this process. So if an order with the higher priority comes in, 
It will identify the bottleneck, schedule the higher priority, and shift the work orders to a date that fits within its deadline. Also, as you can see, if you double click on any work order, visual planning will display a custom user interface that shows all the information you need to see about that work order. Remember, if there's no space for that shift, visual planning can let you know if this will cause a delay on your work order. Moving to your machine schedule view, we can see all the work orders assigned to your machines and view a hot map, also called our machine workload, that will tell you the utilization of each machine. Sometimes machines will break down and it can cause a potential bottleneck in your processes. On this interface, you can easily see where there is room to reassign that process and never have a delay on completion time. As mentioned earlier, we can also automate the scheduling by learning more about your process and identifying possible exceptions when automation is involved. The outcome is confidence in your scheduling and eliminating risk or missing deadlines with your customers. Remember, all the information you see on each event can be customized to show the information that's important to you. Much like assigning your machines, managing your employees is easy breezy. Whether it is a specific skill set or certification needed to fulfill a task, a simple drag and drop and your employee is assigned to the process. Michelle has been assigned to work on windshields for one work order. Manley will be working on the windshields for a different work order. Jackson will be on electricals. Again, this could be automated just like your machines. Another nice feature is expanding to a full screen with a simple double click on your tab. You can see all your employees on one screen and have a full view of each employee's assignments. From Mark down to Jeremy, we can see who is being utilized thus far and know there is plenty of room for more assignments. Double click again on that tab and you are brought back to the original split screen. This is the same with any tab on the screen. Click on your projects and poof, it's expanded to a full screen. If you're reviewing the schedule of the team you manage and prefer one employee over another on a specific process, it's a simple drag and drop and that person is reassigned. In this example, Manly was assigned to chassis. We're going to decide that Jason has a little bit more experience with this and move Jason to that process. We're gonna show another example where Casey is assigned to work on engines, but knowing, knowing Ron, knowing he's free and he's better with engines, we're gonna move Ron over to this process. Scheduling really doesn't get much easier than this. Now, if we're not connected to your ERP, or if even if we are and you want to do all the process scheduling and visual planning, yes, it's an easy drag and drop as well. Let's take a look. Let's first drop in some processes on the schedule. Now, let's assign our resources to these processes. As you can see, Resources, in this case machines, can be grouped together so you could choose which resources are used for the process you were scheduling. In all of 20 seconds, we can assign all the machines and easily see if there are any machines not available. Just like assigning each event, Templates can also be created to fill out the process on each production order. In this case, bringing in a template will cause a bottleneck. By clicking OK and trying to reschedule this template to a different date on the schedule, we could find a place for this work order where a bottleneck will not occur. Again, scheduling does not get easier than this, and having this kind of visibility is key to managing your work orders. A quick refresher. We tried to schedule a machine for the chassis process, and it has called the bottleneck. We could choose another chassis machine if it's not available. Another quick note. Much like the alert showing your bottleneck, the same type of alert can be created if you're trying to assign a machine or employee that is not able to be assigned to that process. Whether the employee is not certified for that process, is already assigned, or a machine does not have the proper capabilities, the same alert can be created. We'll also show some other shortcuts to scheduling that will be displayed in future webinars.
As you all know, inventory is key to finishing a work order in time. When parts, items, materials are needed for production, visual planning can calculate this in the background and know if the material is available to complete the work order. We have clients with over 70,000 parts that need to be managed and having a software that can take inventory into account is clutch, no pun intended. In this example, we want you to see inventory coming in and inventory being assigned to a PO. And again, this can be all an automated process. Visual planning can also read your ERP system and update this automatically. What you also see is a barcode. And yes, with our VP Go application, you could download on the Apple or Google store. You can use your smartphone to scan the items being used and through an optimized interface on your phone, you can up your in, update your inventory with two clicks. Finally, let's see how you can forecast future work orders that have a later completion date. Forecasting will help you predict future orders and let you know if you have the proper inventory once that work order hits the schedule. In this example, each process requires a specific part and or material, and yes, we could display specific names of these items. Yes, this could be automated as well, bringing in this data from your ERP and alerting you if the material is not available or needs to be ordered. If you have an inventory manager, they can be alerted on specific parts, items, materials, in need and reach out to the vendor so that your work order is delivered in time. If the vendor has a long wait time for specific items, this could be identified and you can give your customers updates on timelines, et cetera, and in this case, cause it, which causes a delay. As orders are coming in, you could see it is updating the inventory for future work orders that will be added to the schedule. To recap, here are the five key features in visual planning that we went over. One, you'll easily assigning resources to relevant tasks either manually or automatically with synchronization occurring in real time. Two, you're making sure you have the necessary materials delivered on time so jobs are not delayed. Three, we're identifying bottlenecks with your resources and giving you the ability to reallocate these resources easily, even automatically. Four, you're able to forecast orders to predict future workload, workload and understand if inventory is available. Five, bilateral integration into ERPs for automation, visibility, and eliminating any risk of double entry. So as we conclude the webinar, I wanna thank you all for joining. Uh, if anyone has any questions at this time, we're gonna hand this over to Brian and, uh, Again, just raise your hand and Brian will take care of that. Thanks again, everybody. Thank you, Sean. So as Sean was saying, uh, if you have any questions, now's the time to ask them. We will be holding a live Q&A. Um, so if you wanna ask a question, I suggest you use the Q&A button at the bottom of your screen um, to submit a question. Um, but with that, we'll get started here. Um, we did have a few questions come in. Um, Sean, the first question that we had come in what are the key challenges that businesses typically face when it comes to production scheduling and how can these challenges be effectively addressed? Uh, definitely a good question there. So key challenges in production scheduling, they often include balancing demand fluctuation, optimization, optimizing resource utilization, uh, and minimizing production lead times. Uh, all of these can be addressed in visual planning. With visual planning, you provide advanced scheduling features, real-time data integration. Every communication could be collaborative, so you can have all different departments communicate with each other. Full visibility throughout your production processes. So all of these typical challenges that you face in production, they can all be addressed using visual planning. Thank you, Sean. No problem. Um, another question we had come in, in an increasingly dynamic business environment, how can visual planning enhance the efficiency and adaptability of production scheduling? Oh yeah, so every business right now has a dynamic business environment. And as we all know, technology plays a crucial role in the production scheduling. Uh, visual planning can enable real-time monitoring of the production. Uh, gives you, as we saw with the inventory, it can give you accurate demand forecasting. 
It could identify potential bottlenecks again, which can cause delays, extend lead time, et cetera. And you wanna make sure that your customers are happy as well. So you can give them the information that they need. Um, basically with visual planning, it'll provide all the insights for your timeline decision-making and efficient resource allocation. Again, you need to see where all your resources are going to be, how they're going to be assigned. Visual planning gives you the insight and visibility of all of this. All right, thank you, Sean. Um, another question we had come in, is there any integrated algorithm in the software, like a genetic algorithm that can handle automatic scheduling and assignment? It's all specific to the client. So we'll, we can use our API, we can use our import export feature. There's multiple ways for us to do that automatic assignment. With any automation, there's exceptions. And each of these are exceptions are different for each different company. So we have an analysis with you guys. We understand how the automation needs to work for you specifically. And we create, whether it's through our development, through our API, through our import export features on how we're gonna set it up, it's gonna be specific to your needs and requirements. Mostly used through our development team though. All right, thank you, Sean. The next question we had come in, what are the key benefits of implementing something like visual planning for a manufacturing business? All right. So there's many benefits. Uh, you have improved, improved resource utilization. You have reduced lead times, increase on, like with deliveries, everything could be on time. So increased on time deliveries, minimize, minimize production costs. And the main thing is customer satisfaction. So when you can provide this insight to your customers, it's a pretty big deal. So, you know, even if something's being delayed, the customer wants to know this. You know, they prefer things to come on time, but things don't always work that way in the manufacturing field. So if something is delayed and you can give your customers this insight, it goes a long way. Uh, there's also better capacity planning, resource allocation. So again, increased efficiency all throughout your business. So from customer relationship to resource allocation, to providing more room for where more work orders could slip in because you didn't realize that you're only using 60, 70% of your resources. All of these ways visual planning can help. All right, thank you, Sean. Um, I'm gonna answer a question that came in that I answered privately, but um, someone did ask if there would be a recording of this presentation that they can have. And I can say, yes, there will be. We did record the presentation when you were followed up with you will be getting a link to our YouTube channel that will have the video uploaded to it later today or probably on Friday. Um, and then it'll be shared with you at that time. Um, but with that, I don't see any further questions coming in at this time. So as you can see on this screen, there's a few contacts um, that you can reach out to, Bob, who you heard in the beginning, and then Sean. Um, as well, if you want to contact PMC directly, you can obviously email us at info at pmcorp.com, as well as visiting our website at www.pmcorp.com. Um, but with that, I would like to thank everyone again for participating. I'm in attending, and thank you, Sean, for the excellent presentation. If you think of any further questions, uh, please contact us at those contact links below. But with that, have a great day, everybody. Thank, thank you, everyone. You.